there's a couple things that people don't know about Alta Road. Well, in some ways, it's similar to 8 Mile. There's a political division, a economic division. But with Alta Road, it's quite a different story. Um, well, a more drastic story. You get the poor on the Detroit side, and uh, well, substantially, substantially richer uh, people in Gross Point. It's actually the next street over that is actually in Gross Point. The block between Alta Road and the next street is actually the borderline. So, the stuff that borders Alta Road is in Detroit. The stuff that borders the next street is in Gross Point. Now, how this borderline came to be was from the white flight in the 1930s. A bunch of uh, people of uh, white background, Caucasian, left Detroit on the eastern sub uh, eastern side of Detroit and moved into the new suburbs of Gross Point, the new communities. This is the first street into Gross Point. You can see how much well nicer the house is, well, how much well kept they are. It's a drastic difference between the street that's right next to it, which is Alta Road. The houses are in great shape, plenty of like newer cars, it's just freakish. And there's like no vacant lots, and if there are vacant, they're very well maintained vacant lots. Something that's different between now and the 1930s is that in the 1930s, Gross Point was an all-white community, white only. Today, of course, since there's laws and everything, it's a very, very, well, decent mix. Still predominantly white, but the uh, minority is apparent. This street is two streets in from Alta Road. There's even more of a difference from the one street in. The houses are much bigger, the yards, huge. Why, why is there such a difference? Perhaps the reason why is because how dense and wealthy the population of Gross Point is. They can afford to have a police station all of two blocks from Detroit. 